Hey guys, Jeff Dickinson here, and welcome to another episode here at the Collector Zone. As you can tell from the title, today we're talking about this bad boy, Old School Nintendo. And also, Old School Super Nintendo. Now, the first thing I want to tell you, uh, the main tip here, is to outsource uh, these units through your local um, used video game store. They made tons of these, so, you know, they're around. Uh, so what you want to do here is, if you don't mind paying retail costs, you're looking between 150 to 200, and you're looking at just finding the core system with two controllers, and that's it. If you get the zapper gun, you're in the bonus round. But most majority of the time, when I've been looking around, and uh, I've been hunting for this for a few years, I didn't really pull the trigger until I was happy and comfortable with the one I found. Um, and basically, it's just because they want either too much money. And it's not a complete set. Um, you know, to find a original unit, complete, in box, they're asking for crazy money. Um, I went to the Dallas Ventures Toys, uh, and they had one there with the box and everything. Uh, never been used, and they're asking for a grand. So, I'm not looking to spend a grand on uh, Nintendo. So, what you want to do here is, uh, once you've gone through that outsourcing because they test it there and you can make sure it works there uh, but the other place I'm going to suggest and this is what I did is go on eBay now I'll put below the links to the unboxing to the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo that I got off of eBay so tip number one if you're hunting this down through eBay you got to make sure you're dealing with someone legit uh, we're talking like good feedback a hundred percent and that they've been with eBay for a while um, you don't want to deal with a newbie with that being said, uh, questions is a must. Now, what I found out through my personal experience is that since there's a ton of these around and a lot of them are not working, I've seen people who are buying these in large quantities and then they're Frankenstein them together. Um, that's something, if you want to go down that route, you're more than welcome to. Uh, finding them refurbished, that's, that's your call. Personally, me, I want an original untouched straight from the Nintendo factory to someone's hands who lovingly took care of it and played with it and you know who's willing to part ways uh for this particular one I got for under 100 bucks um I think it was 80 bucks what I paid plus shipping uh, and of course you know the Super Nintendo I got which was 60 bucks and that you know came with two controllers um now the controllers with the Super Nintendo they only had one original and one um, aftermarket. The Nintendo one had the um, one that had two regular controllers. And, of course, you know, uh, it came with a zapper gun. But it did come with an aftermarket power supply. And those power supplies, that's common these days. So if you find a unit for sale off of eBay and they don't have the original power supply, I'm not surprised. Uh, those things did last a long time but also pulled a lot of energy. Uh, so it costs a lot to power those puppies up. Uh, so aftermarket is good enough, as long as you know it works. And make sure you're using the correct voltage, by the way. Um, so number one, make sure you're dealing with uh, a legitimate person. And number two, make sure it's an actual Nintendo, not Frankenstein. That's just me, my personal opinion. It's up to you. Now, a lot of you guys went and let me show you this. These came out a few years ago. And there's a the Super 1. And I got both. Um, they had some games that came with it. This one had 30. There you go. I don't know if you can see all that. And then um, this one here. Um, there you go. Pause it and look at that if you want. And it had some good games on here too. Um... I'm not sure how many it's on. Maybe it's 30 as well. Not 100%. But I got that while I was looking for my original. And I was happy with it. Uh, oh, by the way. Um, let me show you this. This is the uh, controller for the original Nintendo. Uh, and then this is the one that came with the Mini. Um, I, I used the aftermarket uh, controller for the Mini because it had a longer cord. If these are notorious for very, very short cords, or this one's, these were originals, and this had a very long cord. But just to show you side by side here, 
you know, it's the original, uh, sorry, it's the original size, you know. So it's pretty cool that the uh, Mini came with an actual regular size controller, which is cool. Same thing with the, uh, the uh, little Mini NES, um, that controller, and here's the regular one. So basically there, the Mini, once again, they, they duplicated it. And of course with the Mini, it came with a longer cord. So that's pretty cool. Um, so to answer that question, uh, if you had it, that's one of the questions I always thought about was, how big is an original uh, controller versus the Mini controller? And yes, it's the exact same size, and it looks very close together. Um, you know, like I said, sorry. There you go. So, I mean, it's pretty cool that, you know, they did that. Um, now, moving on here. So, once you have found your Nintendo and you ask your questions, uh, you're looking, like I said, to spend about 100 I've seen it goes between 100 to $200, but sometimes that includes games. Uh, so, yes, be sure that if, when you're bidding on stuff, if you want to bid on a lot unit, um, you know, you can save some money. But a lot of times, it's not really a bargain. Because some of these games, the older games, are going pretty cheaply. Um, once again, you go to your used video game store, and they have your Nintendo. And Here, let me show you this. They have, you know, the regular Nintendo. And you're lucky if you find these with the original sleeves. But, you know, I got this here for, I think it was 15 bucks uh, with the sleeve. And this came with my Super Nintendo. The guy sold it with this and another game. Like I said, I put the uh, unboxings below. But these games here, um, like I said, you can find them real cheap. Uh, Goodwill's another source to find uh, video games. Uh, you, those were pretty much going to be a dollar to five dollars on the average. It also depends on the game as well. Um, a lot of these used video game stores, if you find these games, they're still in a box or come with a box in manual and they're asking for some crazy money there. I saw a um, Super Mario 3 with a box and the uh, manual and all that and basically they were asking for a hundred bucks. Back in the days I believe it was around 50 if I remember right. Um, don't quote me but you know you get Google. So it's kind of up to you and how you want to collect. For me personally I just wanted the game so I could play it man. And the reason why I wanted to get an original Nintendo was so I could get these light gun games and play it on an old school CRT. Um, I have videos on my channel about me playing um, Hogan's Alley is one of them. Here. I got this here not too long ago. And it came with a refurbished box. The plastic box. And then there's the game. Um, fun game here. And um, also... Um, Let's see here. Here's a hard, here's another hard one. Now, didn't come with the original sleeve, but here's another hard one to find. Freedom Force. Um, this game was available for sale when it first came out, and I remember as a kid, you know, I could only afford one game because uh, I had to save it for it. And a friend of mine did the same thing. And what we'll do here is we'll buy games that we're both interested in, and then we'll swap games, and that way we can have. Fun with more than just one game that we're stuck with. But this particular game here, um, it's pretty hard to find these days. Reason being is because it was released uh, in the game, it's a little blood, because when you shoot these terrorists, you know, a little splash of the blood that, you know, shows up on the figure. And uh, the adults got pissed off and they said, wrote Nintendo saying, you know, this is a game that's harmful to children. And they pulled it off the shelf for a while. Now, they're still around, and there's a lot of them out there. Um, that game, particular in particular, you know, you can find anywhere between ten to twenty dollars on the average. Um, so, if you're looking for those hard to find games or those rare games, yeah, you're going to be spending some killer money. But once again, you know, it's up to you what you want to do. Um, now, what I want to also mention here. Let me see if I can. Oh yeah, here you go. Sorry. The light gun. Um, this is the one that came out um, after the fact. Uh, the original one. It's all um, gray. This one's, you know, of course, gray and, and uh, orange. But 
these particular light guns are hard to find. Um, so if you get in the tennis system without one and to find one of these, I've seen them on eBay go anywhere between $30 all the way up to 100 The gray ones are the ones that are going to run about 100 bucks because that's one of the original first ones that came out. So yes, uh, so when you're outsourcing, looking around, eBay for me personally is the way I usually like to go because I can keep an eye on the market. Um, some games, they're, they put tons out there and uh, you can find them between you know, $10, $15 all the way down to you know, five bucks. And then of course you gotta figure in shipping. So keep all that in mind when you're hunting around for your Nintendo. And you know what? One more thing I need to tell you before we end this video here is that when you're looking for original Nintendo, always ask them to take a picture of the back end here. As you can see, um, oh, I got it upside down, sorry. As you can see here, um, there is a serial number. Oh, I did have it right side up, sorry. The serial number right there. Um, always once, look at the back, make sure everything's legit. It should have all your information on here. It's got the customer service, you know, sticker here. It's got all your manufacturer stuff. And once again, you gotta make sure you get your serial number. Um, now, here's the thing about collecting these Nintendos. The lower the serial number, which means it's the first ones off the line, it's going to run you a lot of money. Uh, so keep that in mind when you see these prices. Because if you see a uh, complete Nintendo, you know, the unit, the zapper gun, two controllers, going for 500 bucks, pretty sure that that serial number is a low number. So keep all that in mind when you're collecting. For me personally, I just want a Nintendo so I can play, you know, zapper gun games. And I wanted to get a Super Nintendo uh, because there is games right now uh, that, you know, you can emulate them on, like, Pi and stuff. And I was playing a lot of these old Nintendo and the Super Nintendo games off my Pi, which is fine. It runs just fine. But I wanted to go back old school, you know? And so doing that, man, you, you have to go back in time. And it's cool opening this up and putting the cartridge in and powering it up and... Sometimes you got blow on them. It's a myth, yeah, but it makes me feel good when it doesn't work that I do that. It's out of instinct, because that's what I used to do back in the days, you know? So, I hope this is helpful to you guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out at the channel, uh, subscribing, hitting that like button, because I appreciate you guys all. And uh, hopefully this helps you out. If it does, please hit that like button. Uh, and then, of course, in the future, as you see my other videos and the stuff I post, it's about video gaming, um, pop culture, and movies and all that, and music. Um, and of course, I'm part of that Geek and I podcast. Look below, there's a little playlist, and uh, we got some killer guests. And there is a guest here that's going to be on a show soon. And it was really cool talking to this cat. And trust me, you don't want to miss this episode. So keep an eye on the Geek and I podcast. Uh, go to that channel, show it some love, subscribe, and hit that comment bell because our guests are awesome people. And who knows what episode that come by your way that has that favorite actor or actress or just, you know, someone cool that you want to get to know a little bit better. I'm having fun doing it. My bro John's having fun doing it. And, you know, it's something I'm blessed to be a part of. So be sure to check it out. Well, guys, this is going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, I hope it's helpful. Love my Nintendo. And we'll catch you on the next one. Laters.